Hey everyone, this is Mr. Everything, and today I wanted to do a review of the Hadiker electric shaver. I would say this is probably one of the best, if not the best electric shaver, maybe not in performance, just but just sheerly because of the price. I think it's definitely worth considering if you don't have one or if you need another one or something. But uh, at least as of right now, uh, you can see it's very cheap, $27, and then there's a coupon uh, free shipping and everything and it has uh, really good reviews and you can see that these are a bunch of other no names that probably perform similarly but when you go name brand you're paying several times over and who knows truly how much better it is and uh, aside from the few the small chance that you'll get one that was used and still has hair in it it seems like most other people are happy customers and, uh, So there's 90 minute charge, 60 minute runtime, washable. And then the milliamp hours of the battery. So that's not a huge battery, but for what it is, I mean, I think if it's an hour runtime, that's good. And then obviously I took it out, but I'm just get a little paperwork. And then here, this is how the blades come apart if you mess it up, but obviously if you buy it, you probably have this anyway. To and that's the end of the English. And then this just tells you how to shave if you don't know how, or maybe it would make using an electric one work a little better, I don't know. And then I like that they include this cute little card. Kind of gives me a reason to live. And then just, uh, all, you know, nothing special. No um, charging stations, no uh, little stands or anything. But for the price, I wouldn't expect it. And then you also get this bag. I guess you could put it in there. It'd be kind of dumb to me unless you're traveling with it or don't want to scratch it up but just set it in your medicine cabinet or sink counter or something and you only get a charging USB that's kind of like a not really a proprietary but just like a power plug and only goes in one way for this so it's not USB on this end but it is on this some people thought that this didn't come with one it's not supposed to it doesn't say that it comes with one so you either have to plug this in with, to anyone that has an iPad or a phone, which is just about everyone. The um, power adapter or the little plug goes into this, or you could plug it into a uh, you know, computer or Xbox or something. So you have to power it like that, but this is how it's done. Advantage over this compared to this. This is also a Hadiker. This is a, more of just a trimmer. It doesn't, it doesn't do a shave. What I liked about this model is you got two batteries, so you could replace them, and that this one is just all sealed. Now I'm going to let you know now I'm not going to show me using it, so if that is too much for you, then you can just rage quit the video now. But uh, for most reasons, uh, people usually, like the bathroom scenes, they, people just complain, oh, you're using too much water, you're not using enough water. Oh, are those bulbs energy efficient? So not going to do that. I mean, it works basically the same as anything else. I'll just talk about how it works. It's kind of lightweight. It's not as heavy as that trimmer, but uh, so I was actually kind of surprised by it, but it, it does have some heft down here, probably where the battery's at. You get this little cover. Not very sturdy, but it does work. And you can see the three shavers, and here's the sound. It doesn't sound as loud as what I would expect, but it does get the job done, so it's like closer to the mic there. And then you have this, which I have used, but uh, it, it works, but it's not very good. I, I, I use a Phillips one blade. Uh, if I'm not going to wet shave, I'll just use that for my face, not this. And this is too big. I use it for my head. I think 
this. I think this one sounds a little bit beefier, but I don't know, I've never had any other electric shavers, so this might be how they all sound. To clean this one, there's a little button. Flips open real nice, you can... And then you can take all this out if you turn it, and then it'll lift out, but... I found that you really didn't need to do that, you could just open this up and rinse it out. And it seems to work really well. I, you would think, like, when you use those clippers, hair goes everywhere, but as long as you're just trimming short, um, obviously, stubble or something, all the hair stays pretty much contained in this. Some's on your skin. And then when you open this, it's mostly in here, and uh, maybe a little bit. You just rinse it out, and then it's, like, perfectly fine again. But I did notice when you close this, it'll flick water in your face when it... So you kind of have to watch that. And then when you go to press these back down, they hold a little water in them. So then it'll like drip down your face if you're shaving your head, just to let you know. Now, if you were going to use this every day or every other day, maybe you could even go four or five days. It would probably work, but prior to that, you need to have your hair short enough. So you'll either need something like this to get your hair down short, then use this. Or if you're just using it as a shaver on your face, just use like a disposable razor or whatever you have. And then uh, once it gets nice and low, you can maintain it with this. It did not work near as good when it was like too long. It's not supposed to be, it's supposed to be short to use this because it's a shaver, not really a trimmer. And I'd also like to say when I, I tried using it dry, because it's a wet or dry, but I just didn't find that it worked very well. And it's kind of weird because my Philips One blade is the opposite. It works way better dry but it's more of just a straight trimmer, but it has like, they're in a different orientation than this, to where this has these wheels. So I found that this glided way better with uh, either some water, or I just got this at Walmart, it was pretty cheap. I don't think it's the greatest, it doesn't really lather as much as I'd like, but uh, a little too goopy, almost like jello or something, it doesn't really wanna um, thin down, but something like that really helped out a lot. It, it took me a while at first to get used to it. I did get some redness on the back of my neck, but uh, as far as like everywhere else on my head, it didn't do that. So that's probably just how anything, like even when I just use a regular razor, that's just, I guess, a little bit of an irritation area for me. But I didn't get like any nicks or tug, tugging or anything. And at first it didn't seem all that great, but they say they're self-sharpening blades and since they were brand new, Maybe, I don't know, but maybe it takes them a while to break in and they get better over time. I'm not completely sure, but I, after using it, that initial, if you would do it again the next day or even two days, it would, you'd go pretty quick for under five minutes. But then if you let it grow out, it'd take a little longer again. So it depends how you want to use it, really. Again, I didn't find it as good on my face because I just think it's a little too, too big for my face, but for my head, it works really well. So that comes down to what you want. It does work pretty good for on your head though. You get a nice, you can get some different angles to help reach behind your skull or whatever. And you can see this kind of all moves. One thing I wanted to mention is you can see these like cages or whatever are supposed to push in to help contour. But if I can get it, you see now like a lot of times if you're cleaning them off or something or you want to push the water out before, you can see how this one is like messed up now and I noticed that it happened to all of them over time so now you can see like they're not right and I thought that I broke them or that it was defective but I'm not sure how well this will show up but you can see where there's this little piece that protrudes it's the plastic and you'll see there's a notch in this rim of this like little cage that goes over the blades and those have to go together so now you can see it fell back in place so if you push it and then spin it and it'll get out of center you just bring it back over and hopefully you can so on this one it's here and then you can see I spun it back in and then it seats properly so just keep that in mind if, if they would push in or if it's not cutting good, check and make sure that's not the, uh, the case. 
Yeah, also you can buy, I believe, like this whole assembly for the blades if they'd wear out. But it's like $15, $16, and the reviews weren't as good as this whole device. People were saying that those blades didn't seem as good, even though it was Haddocker brand. They said that they didn't seem to be as good. So for $16, I mean, it's only $26, you might as well just buy this whole thing again. Now that's not the most uh, environmentally friendly thing, but I'm not sure what else to do. It's just a better deal to get the whole new thing of a new fresh battery and apparently better blades. But I would think this would work well for as much as I use it, even if I don't use it a couple times a week. I only use my one blade a few times a month and I've been using it for two years and the blades still work for me. So maybe that's just subjective. And uh, lastly, again, you get a 60 minute run time. So I'm at 35. I've been, I think I fully charged it when I got it. I might have charged like right after the first time just to see how quick it charged. But since then, probably used it close to 10 times, maybe a little less. So I would say the run time's right around an hour. So, I mean, it's not the greatest, but for $26, it's definitely worth having if you wet shave or something, just a nice backup. Or if you're looking to do your own hair or you mess up your own hair and you want to get rid of it completely, this does get it down really good. Again, it depends if there's contours, you kind of have to work it a little more. But it was so much, it was hard to do with my one blade to go over my head because it's a flat blade to where there's contours. Did it so much quicker, and, and I think the more you get used to it, if you've already used these, and I could just keep going on. But really what it comes down to, for $27, um, I think it's pretty, exceeds that price. So just something you'll have to decide if uh, it's worth it to you, and to me I think it is worth it. So hopefully that helps you out. It's Haddock or you can get it on Amazon and it's well worth the money. So thanks for watching and you'll see me in the next one. Have a good one.